The writer for Avengers Endgame has revealed a massive twist that was supposed to happen at the ending of Infinity War. With that said, there will be major spoilers in this video for Avengers Endgame, so if you have not seen the Endgame yet, please go watch it before continuing with this video. With the spoiler warning out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into the topic and what the writer of Endgame and Infinity War had to say about the Hulk. As we saw in Avengers Infinity War, the Hulk was unwilling to come out and face Thanos yet again. Many speculated this was due to the fact that the Hulk was actually scared after being beaten by Thanos in hand-to-hand -hand combat in the opening of the movie. However, the Russos and various other writers came out and confirmed that the Hulk was not in fact afraid of Thanos at all, and that the reason the Hulk refused to come out during Infinity War was because he was sick of being the hero to Banner and getting no credit or love. In Avengers Endgame though, after the five-year time jump, after we encounter Bruce Banner yet again, he's perfectly melded the personality and being of Hulk and himself, and really become the best of both worlds, being able to control the beast fully and still have the mind of Bruce Banner, and a character now famous from the comic books named Professor Hulk. However, the writer for Infinity War revealed that this was actually set to happen in Wakanda at the ending of Infinity War, but ultimately this was a deleted concept and they decided to cut it out. This could make sense though as to why we see various footage and even concept art of the Hulk during the final battle of Wakanda, despite never actually appearing in the final movie. So apparently it was going to be in Wakanda where Bruce Banner finally made peace with the Hulk, and would emerge Professor or an intelligent version of the Hulk in the final confrontation. Quote, There was a time when Banner became Smart Hulk in the first movie. It was a lot of fun, but it came at the wrong moment. It was an up right when everyone else was down. It happened in Wakanda. His arc was designed like, I'm not getting along with the Hulk. The Hulk won't come out. And then they compromise and became Smart Hulk. We were like, but he's Smart Hulk in the next movie. So that diner scene in Endgame was like, okay. How do we smash right into that in Endgame without seeing him in a lab? Gene splicing. Oh, I wrote scenes with him in a lab. Now though, it's just him eating pancakes, and I think it generally works. The whole thing rides on Rudd going, I'm so confused by this. Basically, the writer explains that without Ant-Man being confused on why Hulk is now a smart Hulk, it basically hinders on that actor. With Ant-Man in the scene, and over the entire movie, frankly, being the audience, and us experiencing a smart Hulk through his eyes. It would have been interesting to see a smart Hulk face off against Thanos in the ending of Infinity War, yet again. However, ultimately it does make sense, as this would be a major win for Bruce Banner when everyone else would be experiencing major losses, and tonally would contradict what exactly was going on in the ending of Infinity War if Smart Hulk were to emerge then. Still though, finally we have confirmation that yes, in some form, Hulk was set to appear in the ending of Infinity War in a different fashion. But smartly, I think, they ultimately saved this for Avengers Endgame, and completed his arc in Endgame. But what are your guys' thoughts on this, and the fact that Smart Hulk was actually supposed to appear originally in Avengers Infinity War, and that using Wakandan technology, Bruce Banner was actually going to figure out the mysteries of the Hulk. Again guys, don't forget to pick up some Quantum Realm Tony Stark hoodies and far more designs using my link in the description down below. We have a massive sale going on right now, so you can get hoodies and t-shirts 25-50% to 50 off. So again, using my link below, be sure to check out some hoodies that you may like. Also, don't forget to enter the Infinity War Hot Toys figure giveaway. To enter that, all you have to do is like this video. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me below which Infinity Stone you think is the most powerful. If you win this giveaway, you'll be able to choose from several Infinity War hot toys of your choosing, so be sure to enter now. As always everyone, hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.